Hello, this is a short instructional video on how to set up the model 6517B electrometer from Keithley Instruments for a staircase voltage sweep. To configure the Keithley model 6517B electrometer for a staircase voltage sweep, first thing we do is we're going to press the config button and the sequence button. We'll select applications, press enter, and then there's a variety of things to select. We go all the way to the right to press sweep. And going to the right and left, we use the right and left arrow buttons. Once it's blinking on sweep, we press enter. You have two selections, square wave or staircase. In this example, we're going with a staircase. So you use the right arrow button to go there so that it's blinking. Once it is, press enter. Now, the sequence needs some parameters to make this staircase happen. It'll ask you the start value. It's starting at one volt. That's the default. Let's leave it at that. Press enter to go to the next step. Then it asks, it wants the stop voltage. So the default is 10 volts. That's a good one to start with. Let's leave that. Press enter. Then it asks for a step. Step is one volt. That's good, so we'll step from 1 volt to 10 volts in 1 volt steps. And then the last is going to be the time. It's set for 1 second here. That's long enough so that we'll be able to see this as an example going through the staircase. So let's leave it at that. Press enter. And then it comes back to this menu. You press exit a couple times to get to the main display. Now since we have a a resistor connected up to this to the voltage source we need to put on the meter connect that will connect the input low to the voltage source low so you don't have to do that externally you can see that in another video but here we just do config operate use the right and left arrow to go to meter connect press enter and we'll select it to be on once it's on, you hit enter, exit, exit. Now remember, that's to connect the V source low to input low internally. Also, since we're doing a voltage sweep, we want to measure current because we're connected to a resistor, so let's hit current I. Now, to start the sweep, all we have to do is hit sequence, because remember, we configured a sequence. Sequence, just follow the directions. Press enter to arm sequence. Enter. Now sequence starts to blink. Stair sweep, waiting for a trigger. Well, let's hit trigger. Once we do, it starts to take the data and watch. There's the voltage going up and the current is following appropriately. Once it's done, it'll stop. And now let's see if it really worked. All we have to do is recall the data because in a sequence function, this will automatically store the data in memory. Let's see. Press recall. There, reading number zero is about a nanoamp at, and we know that was one volt. We go to reading number two, basically, because it started at zero. That's about two nanoamps, and you can go all the way through, all the way up. The very last one should be about 10 nanoamps. There we are, 9.77. Gives you a timestamp and the reading number. So it worked. You hit exit, we're all done.